Hello there, this is Dream. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Today in this video, we're going to take a look at exercises that will straighten your rounded back. It will, from this, after this exercise, get into a straight, aligned, healthy and open posture. The very best thing about these exercises is that you can do them anywhere at any time. You don't need any tools. Maybe you, you could use a wall, but um, I think there's always a wall or a wall-like thing around you, right? Okay, let's get started. The first one, you want to put your hands behind your back like this. But as you can see, my hands, they are like, uh, folded together in this way. And now you're going to pull your, pull your elbow backwards. And thereby you are, from this crunched in posture, you do the opposite into the opposite direction and hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now the key point in here doing so is that you are not overarching your lower your lower back. It is about the upper back. It's, it's about this region, the upper back. So you fo focus on your mid upper back and do this motion. 5 to 10 seconds, depends on your status, on, on your condition. Do what you feel like. If you're in a rush, do 5 seconds. Don't think five, 5 seconds is just too little. It's enough if you do it consistent. And in my experience with my clients, often less is better. Uh, it's just very contrary to common sense. Anyway, let's get to the next exercise. Now the next exercise, we're gonna put our hands together behind your back. Now in this posture, gonna think of pulling it down, okay? Pulling your arms down so that from your closed chest, it's gonna open because you're pulling down. You're not lifting your shoulders, but you're trying to pull them down and opening up, opening up your front neck too, like this. Now this feels so good, even if you don't have a round shoulder uh, from all that office work and the tiredness, this will just reverse the fatigue that is piled up in your body. Alright, very nice. Here we are with the last exercise. This one is very popular because it is effective and it just has this great feeling when you, um, that you get after doing this exercise. The wall, placing our hands softly against the wall. You're gonna put your body apart from the wall. Now the distance you have to think about, you have to experiment with. If it's too close or if it's too um, behind, because it depends on the length of your arms, on the uh, flexibility of your upper back and mid back. So don't be fixed, but just don't think too much, follow along and you will find it. Okay, now here, you're gonna try to straighten, opening up the chest and straighten the mid upper back. If this is a too great pressure for you, you're gonna lower your hands and do it in your way. I am bending my knees, okay? I am not being stiff with my knees, but I am bending my knees. Good job, guys. Remember all of these three exercises. You don't have to do all of them, but have the knowledge of these three exercises. You can always put them out into practice. Um, do the thing that you feel like because every each one has its benefits and uh, they don't have their downsides. So because they're all very beneficial if done very slowly and gently and day by day with progress, uh, with progression. Okay, uh, I wish you a beautiful day, a happy day, a great day, a thankful day. Uh, see you in my next video. Thank you.